Okay guys, join me today as I rank and review your top 10 rides at Motion Gate Dubai. So starting off at number 10 spot, you guys seem to pick Smurfs Village Express and this is an absolutely awesome choice. Now with it being themed towards Smurfs for starters, it definitely deserves a spot on our list. But what makes this ride even better than the rest is that while some rides like John Wick Open Contract or the Capital Bullet Train is also located at this park, definitely provides a thrill for the older guests in the group, it does not really provide the same level of fun for everyone who's a little bit more scared. However, with this ride, we'll be providing the fun twists and turns for the older thrill seekers, and of course the incredible Smurfs theming, with you heading around the village itself, meeting many of our favourite Smurf friends, and of course having not one but two laughs, it makes it fun for literally everybody out there. And so whilst this can get some pretty long cues, I would definitely put it on your bucket list. Talking about rides as you go on your bucket list, if you are visiting Motion Gate Dubai on a hot Dubai day, this one right here should be right at the top of it. Now this is currently the chance of Meeple's River Expedition, and as you can probably guess by the name of it, you can get very, very wet. However, it is not only getting weather this ride provides, as with you heading around lots of food, not just normal sized food though, absolutely humongous food. When you make your way around this ride, you can get very, very hungry. When seeing all those maple syrup pancakes, giant french fries, cakes, coconuts, burgers, pineapples and the list goes on and on and on. Just be aware though that if it does break down for some reason, with this ride being one of the only ones in Dubai to be outdoors, you can be out in the hot for a very very long time. In fact I went to one of my friends one time and he said it was one of the hottest experiences he's ever had. If there's something strange in your neighbourhood, who are you going to call none other than the Ghostbusters? And you guessed it, that is our next ride, but instead of the Ghostbusters tackling all those ghosts, it will be you doing that job, with from the moment you board in the ride vehicle, you grabbing one of the Ghostbusters laser guns, followed by you heading around many of the scenes from the films where you have to shoot the ghosts, destroy them and capture them, which ultimately, above saving the city of New York, will add to your scoreboard, which then at the end of the ride itself, you can check with your friends to see who's got the highest score. Comment down below though, have you done this ride before? And if so, what is the highest score you managed to get to see who out of all of you is the Ghostbusters champion? Now I think all the rides that we have covered so far and will continue to cover will bring back some of those childhood memories as well as the memories right now for you guys throughout the films. However, there's one film in particular, or should I say one ride in particular, that brings back all of those childhood memories in just one. And for me, that is Hotel Transylvania. Now, whilst this ride is extremely so, with you heading around the hotel itself, meeting all of the characters, and really once again feeling like you were in the film itself, in my eyes, for anyone who's grew up with it, like me, it should definitely be a must do. The only thing I'd say though is that amongst this very, very slow pace, it does feel like it's just in one building, and it may have been better if I actually brought you around different rooms all the times, instead of bringing you out to one central corridor, then into other rooms then back into the central corridor again, I don't know. But let's be honest guys, there is no better hotel stay than a hotel stay over at Hotel Transylvania. Making our way now though onto our number six spot, we've got Madagascar Mapasu Roller Coaster, and this ride is pretty unique. Now for starters, it is an indoor coaster, and from the best of my knowledge, I think it is the only indoor coaster over at Motion Gate Dubai. So if you are visiting on a hot day, and don't want all that hot wind rushing in your face, then this is definitely the coaster for you. And similar to many indoor coasters as well, it seems like as you do make your way around the ride itself, you will be met by many flashing lights, characters, and of course all the screens. But one thing that's really awesome about this ride, and I literally just picked it up, is that throughout it, you're actually heading outdoors towards the outdoor section of the indoor section, if you know what I mean. And that's quite a cool interaction. Of course, if you are in the indoor section, it will definitely work the excitement for the ride itself. Whoa, it's not only the outdoor section I just realised, but that launch at the start of the ride, I'll put the clip in right now for you guys, but that launch is over 51 miles per hour. Now that is faster than Rock and Roller Coaster, Disneyland Paris, and a little bit slower than Rito over Alton Towers for any of my UK viewers out there. Plus, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is themed towards the second Madagascar film, as when you do head around it, it's all about the circus and that circus catcher, really kind of immersing you once again in the storytelling. It seems like we are now back onto another coaster and this is Green Hornet High Speed Chase. Now I've never watched the Green Hornet films, I'm pretty sure it's a superhero film but honestly guys, I have got absolutely no clue on what it is. But what I do know as far as a coaster goes, it is a wild mouse coaster. Now these rides are very common around the world and so if you are visiting on a busy day, then we would probably suggest trying the other rides and attractions as not only are they more themed, more immersive towards the films, but they are also more unique as well. And whilst you could be heading around many twists and turns right now, and those amazing looking airtime hills, you could literally do that at your local fun fair. So yeah, if I was you, 
probably try to be other rides first, but with this, it's being based purely on the ride experience itself, it is a really good fun ride, and compared to the other ones, to be honest, it is quite a lot smoother. Now, with Motion Gate Dubai still being quite new towards the theme park world, they still add new groundbreaking rides every single year, and one that was added back in 2022, so around a year back right now, was John Wick open contract. Now from first sight this ride does look pretty good fun with once again you facing into one another meaning that you can share those interactions. But that will quickly change as once you make your way up that lift hill you will then basically be going around a track, a bit like a marble one actually Star Trek, but the twist around it is that you will be flipping upside down 3D. So on some experiences you could be having a pretty boring one if it just stays along with the track, but other times if you are lucky enough or unlucky enough depending on how much you love to be flipped upside down you'll be rotating upside down again, and again, and again. Basically making the fact that you face into one another not so much of a good news. To be honest, it is also a shame that Motion Gate Dubai does not get too busy, as the queue line for this ride going through the Continental is a pretty awesome experience in itself. But if you are more of a Now You See Me person than a John Wick one, then look right next door as also opening up back in 2022 was Now You See Me High Roller, and for starters, the theming for this ride once again is incredible with you basically before you even getting into the queue on itself, you heading down a Las Vegas style strip, before then heading into the glamorized queue line, once again immersing you in the ride experience, and to be honest, the film itself. But this time, the difference between John Wick and this ride is that instead of flipping upside down consistently, you'll be spinning around and around consistently. And whilst this may not seem as bad for some guests, trust me, if you are positioned in the right way, when heading around with those coaster twists and turns, you could be spinning so much so, but you do not even realise when the next turn, drop or red time hill is coming next. And as a final tip before we do move on, if you want to get the most spinning experience, we found it best to distribute the weight evenly, as even though you could put two heavy people on one side and two light on the other side, we feel as if when it is at its lightest point, you will spin around more. I don't know though, what do you guys think? Here is another film that I have not seen, but for anyone who has watched Zombieland, you'll know that one of the most iconic scenes for me is that shot tower scene well there's actually an actual ride based off it over here at the park. And at the same time there will not be zombies running up to you, what you will be experiencing is the same thrills of shooting up right to the top of a tower in just a couple of seconds guys I want to point out. Dropping back down again to ground level, then shooting up again and dropping, shooting up again and then dropping until you literally cannot bounce no more. So if you are scared of heights, it's probably best to skip to the next ride, but if not, those views that you can get from the top for a split second I want to point out again, are absolutely incredible. We have now made it onto the number one spot, and to be honest, I agree with you guys, it is a no-brainer. This is Capital Bullet Train, and themed towards Hunger Games, similar to Smurfs, it deserves a spot in the top three. But oh my god, is this ride amazing. We're experiencing everything from launches, to inversions, to twists, to turns, to even backwards rolls at some point. Making any Hunger Games fan, roller coasters a fan, or just anyone in general, absolutely fall in love with this ride. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.